Hello and welcome to my kitchen. Today we're going to make a beautiful side dish that has lots of colorful vegetables. It's called oven roasted vegetables and it's very easy to do. It takes either fresh or frozen vegetables. It doesn't matter. You can use frozen ones if you have space in your freezer and have frozen ones saved up or you can use fresh ones that you've gotten at a farmer's market or maybe even that you've grown in your own garden. But this recipe simply takes a variety of vegetables, adds a few seasonings, and then we're gonna put it in the oven. So let's get started. The first thing that we need to do is we need to make um, the oily sauce that, that is gonna go over the vegetables. So the first thing that we need to do is we're going to add two tablespoons of oil. We're gonna add one tablespoon of lemon juice. And this will just give it just a little bit of tang. And then we're gonna add um, just a teaspoon of, of any sorts of herbs or spices that you like on your vegetables. Whatever sorts of flavors you like on your vegetables is what you can include. And just a little bit of salt and pepper to taste. Then we're just gonna stir that up, get that all mixed up so those herbs and spices are suspended in the oil and lemon juice. Just like that. Now, one of the things you can do with this recipe that makes cleanup easy is you can use a Ziploc bag to make this. So what I have over here is all sorts of colorful, fresh vegetables. And um, I've washed all these vegetables ahead of time, gotten any dirt off the outside of them, just running them under cold water is all you need to do to wash them peeled some of them and chopped them into bite-sized pieces for roasting. I have a, a variety of colors, a rainbow of colors, which is important. Every time we get a variety of fruits and vegetables, um, it's important that we get different colors. According to my pyramid, we should eat lots of dark green and orange vegetables. So what we've included with this one is we have some carrots here and um, we've just sliced these carrots up. If you buy your carrots in the, the small bite-sized carrot pieces, those would work just fine as well. We're gonna add some, some carrots here to our bag. And then for some dark green vegetables, we have some broccoli. So we're gonna add that broccoli. If your kids are like my kids, it may be a little bit hard to get them to eat vegetables. So one thing you can do is get your kids involved in preparation. Have them help you wash the vegetables under cold running water. Have them help you pick them out. Have them find their favorite colors or try a new one when you're at the grocery store. And um, then be sure to have them help you prep them in any way that they can. This would be a perfect job for a kid to do. Just have them put them into the Ziploc bag. And then I've got some um, sweet potatoes here. And all of these vegetables, these orange and dark green ones, are loaded with vitamins and minerals and also have lots of fiber in them. Great source of vitamin A and vitamin C in our diet. I've got a little bit of cauliflower here that we're gonna put in here. We need, in a day, we need two and a half cups of vegetables a day to get all the vegetables that we need. So this side dish will put us well on our way of goal, of our goal of two and a half um, servings of vegetables a day, and that's two and a half cups. So now that I have all my vegetables in the bag, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna add this sauce here into the bag. We're just gonna dump that in there just like that. Then we're gonna seal it up. Now that we have all the vegetables in there, we're just gonna zip it up and then we're gonna shake it a little bit. This would be a great activity to have your kids help you with. That way we can get the vegetables all coated with the herbs and the little bit of oil on there. Then you just open it up and we're gonna spread these out evenly over our pan. And that's the great thing about cleanup. You can just zip this up and throw it away. And then just spread those evenly out on the pan. And the great thing about um, vegetables, if you don't have a lot of storage space when you store your vegetables in the refrigerator, um, the great thing about vegetables is they can be stored out on the counter. They'll last longer if you're able to store them um, uncut in your refrigerator. 
Once you cut them up, go ahead and store them in a tight container in your refrigerator. But before then, you simply can keep the um, fresh vegetables out on the countertop until you're ready to use them if storage is a problem for you. But if you keep them in the refrigerator, they'll just stay longer. Once you cut them up, put them in an airtight container, and then they can be stored in your refrigerator as well. But now that we have these all together and ready to go in the oven, we're gonna put these in a 450 oven we're gonna put them in a total cooking time of about 20 minutes. We're gonna put them in for 10 minutes and then stir them up a little bit, and then we'll put them back in for 10 minutes for a total, min total cooking time of 20 minutes. After the first 10 minutes of cooking, it's important that you stir the vegetables around a little bit so that all sides can get browned. And then just put them back in. We'll just let them cook about 10 more minutes so that they're sure to get soft, but not too soft in the inside. And then we'll finish and plate them up for supper. Okay, let's check on our vegetables. Oh, they look great. Nice and brown on the outside. We're gonna take these over here Make sure we can stick a fork in a few of the vegetables just to make sure, yeah, we just wanna make sure they're tender. You wanna be sure not to overcook your vegetables. One thing that often happens is with small children, if the vegetables are mushy, then they don't tend to like them because they've been overcooked. So be sure just, just to cook your vegetables to when you can um, insert a fork into them. That's perfect. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna dish this up on the plate and these vegetables will be a great side dish to any meal for your family. So be sure to bury your vegetables, get all sorts of rainbow of colors, and enjoy. Before any food preparation, it's important that you wash your hands with hot soapy water before you begin working with the food. Be sure to wash your hands for about 20 seconds with hot soapy water. Now you're ready for food preparation.